Hi guys! So today I have book number 19. Thank goodness. I love reading, but um, I just find these reviews really kind of difficult to do. Um, so it's a Lee Child book. It's part of the Jack Reacher series. It's called Past Tense. Now, I don't know if you've ever read any Jack Reacher. I love the Jack Reacher books now. <laughs> what makes me laugh, though, is Tom Cruise bought the rights to the books, I think, or to turn them into films, something like that. And um, Tom Cruise actually plays Jack Reacher. Now, when you read the book, Jack Reacher is six foot four and built like a tank. He's also not very bonny either. I don't know if you think Tom Cruise is bonny or not, but he's kind of got that pretty boy look about him. So six foot four, built like a tank. Not very attractive. In steps, Tom Cruise. It's actually put my friend off reading the books because of Tom Cruise. <laughs> the films are good, but just don't like... Don't kind of get in your head too much that Jack Reacher's a six foot four killer machine that goes from one place to the other. He's like the littlest hobo. Did you ever watch that? It was a UK thing. Um, it was about this dog. I think it was an Alsatian. And it went from one place or another. It might have been in America as well because it was very American. Um, the littlest hobo. And um, he doesn't stop. You know, in the, the, in the start he would say... Um, every step he makes, he makes a new friend. He just like kind of keeps going and I don't know where I've gone from Jack Reacher to The Littlest Hobo, but you get the idea. It was brilliant. I loved The Littlest Hobo. It used to be on in the summer holidays. So anyway, the, the past tense, it's, um, it's about two young Canadians. So it's about Jack Reacher and he's trying to research his family tree, I think. Um, but the, there's always another story along to them. So there's these um, this American couple, they're trying to get to New York. They've got something in a suitcase. Don't think you ever find out what it is. And um, they stop at this motel and it turns out they're trapped in a game of life and death. So they keep them trapped in the motel. And um, just by chance, Jack Reacher, who's looking for his family, stumbles kind of through different troubles and difficulties onto this motel. And it's a bit of an odd Book. and actually the book that I'm reading at the moment is kind of similar so it's basically people who have kind of been from the the dark web um now you, you might want to read this book so I can't spoil it for you but um there's a chase and there's a deadly game um and you know the couple know that they're not going to get out of it alive until obviously Jack Reacher comes along and Yeah, it, it had quite a good um, bloody <laughs> ending, if you like that kind of thing. Um, it was a good thriller. But weirdly, the book that I'm reading at the moment, I can't remember who the author is, but it's a similar kind of idea. It's people on, it's these girls have been getting killed um, and they're turning up and they've been killed in various different ways. So although they're looking for a serial killer, they're not sure because all the, deaths are completely different um but it turns out it's a dark web thing it's a game of kind of like real life catch and kind of kill rather than just being on you know the platforms and stuff so it's really weird but this book is along those kind of lines um it, it's not too gory it's not too unpleasant i couldn't read anything that was too scary to be honest with you i'm a big wuss so that was um lee child past tense and this is my last book review ever for YouTube and I am so so pleased to have done it got me back into reading also the fact that I'm on the bus in the morning for 50 minutes and on the way back home for 50 minutes I've really gotten back into reading so this has really really helped I participated in this challenge with it was Nikki Pearson I think whose idea it was to do the challenge we were doing some panning with her um a lot of bollum Wacky World of Lottie and Museum Girl 135. Now, I don't know. I've not seen a video in a wee while from Nikki, so I don't know um, how she's getting on. I need to go and check out her channel and see if I've missed any. I think she has set up a booktube, so she might be doing them on there. And I know Angela's going to do that once she's finished the challenge. Um, but yeah, I think I might be the first one past the post. And actually, I should have done that two books ago. So anyway, thank you for bearing with me. These videos are videos that I've 
actually not really enjoyed doing um, at all, but I wanted to get to the end. I wanted to finish it. So thanks for bearing with me and I'll catch you soon. Bye guys.